All right, RBT competency exam data and graphs. Uh, something that people overcomplicate. So we're gonna try to keep it simple, okay? So where do we start? We start with our baseline data. We have our sessions. And then we have our behavior, right? So we have five sessions, let's say. Three, four, five. Our behavior is two times, one time, two times, one time, two times. Okay. And then we have our intervention. So whatever your behavior plan is or whatever you're doing um, to address the behavior. Again, we have sessions. Okay. Sessions is just time. So it could be trials, um, but we're going to use sessions here. And then we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and our behavior went four, five, seven, eight, 10. Okay. All right. So now you have your data. All you do here, plug it in to a line graph. Okay. Very, very simple, right? So our line graph, this is the y axis, this is the x, okay? Behavior, okay, goes here, time goes on the x axis. In our case, this is sessions, okay? Let's follow that rule, all right? So what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 sessions, okay? Five baseline, five intervention. Let's graph our baseline first, right here. Okay, so we need our behavior points. We'll go up to 10, okay? And then we'll graph, okay? So let's look at our baseline. Session one was two. Session two was one, session three was two, session four was one, session five was two, okay? Connect your dots, there you go. Graphing, right? Change to intervention. Now we look at our intervention data. Same thing, six was four, seven was five, session eight was seven, Nine was eight, 10 was 10. And again, connect the dots, okay? And there you go, right? Very straightforward. All you're doing is you're matching up your sessions, okay? Or your time to the behavior. Put it on the line graph, connect the dots. And as you can see, now you have your data. So how would you interpret that data? Okay, well, we would say our baseline data is stable, no trend, okay, which is what you wanna typically see in, in baseline. Um, ideally, you want a stable baseline, okay? If your baseline going up or down, um, you might not always wanna intervene depending on the, the behavior. Okay, but when it's, when it's stable, that's what you want to see typically in the baseline. That's not always the case, but it's kind of what you're going for. That's called steady state. Okay. Now let's look at our intervention. What is our trend? Our trend is upward. Okay. Our data is stable. Okay. And if we wanna look at level, there's a baseline level. And then let's just say our level is here. So what happened to that level? Well, the level changed, okay? And depending on your behavior, I would say your intervention was successful, okay? So quick, simple, easy. Um, graphing is not difficult. Don't make it more difficult than it is. Um, all you're doing is matching up your numbers to your line graph. And then you just interpret what you see, okay? In behavior analysis, we use visual analysis to interpret our data. And that's what I would see. I would say, okay, our baseline is stable, it's low, 
and then um, when we intervened, our behavior increased and um, continues to increase. So depending on what my intervention is, you could consider this successful, okay? So all you really need to know is your x-axis, your y-axis, and how to plot data points, okay? Keep it simple. Don't make it harder than it is.